So one of the most requested designs that I got was the Grinch, and I'll be honest, I was kind of dreading it because all the Grinch face paintings I've seen have either been just like a little cheek art or a big green unattractive monster. So I was thinking, what am I going to do with this? I printed out uh, pictures and kind of played with placement, and um, I'm happy with what I came up with, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Okay, so to get started on this design, I have some diamond effects light green on one side and dark green on the other. And I'm going to um, kind of at about right here, at an angle, put the light green down first. I'm going to bring that all the way down to right here. And I'm going to fade it down into uh, the middle right here. Just fade it down until it kind of disappears into the skin. Now I'm going to take that dark green and right along that edge I'm just going to put the dark green in a line. Super duper easy and fade it out and uh, if you have a little too much dark green you can just flip your sponge around and use that light green um, to fade it into the color and this should just be really fast you should not be taken uh, too long doing this okay and then I'm gonna take the same dark color and do the same thing over here and fade it up now if you are doing the easier version of this or the faster version without the hand you're gonna um, go from dark to light again and uh, fade the light out into the temple area. So it'll be dark light, dark, and then light is how you end it if you're doing it the fast way. All right, so there's the green base, super fast and super easy. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the hat and I have a flat brush with some Diamond FX bread. If you have a red and a black split cake, you might wanna use that to give the hat a little more dimension. But I'm just going to, um, down like this, following that line, but leaving a space, okay? And then go up, kind of matching the shape of your head, all right? And then down, then end in a, oops, end in a point. Okay, you don't want it to be perfect, you want it to look kind of messy because the Grinch's clothes are all raggedy. They're not perfect. And with that red still on your brush, you're just gonna go right over here and straight down, just bring a red line going just like that. So I have some Diamond FX White and it's on a chisel brush. And this is a good shape to use for this because you can just kind of dab it and it'll automatically create that shape for you. So this is going to be the fluff on the hat. Just go ahead and push down and just move your brush downwards. I'm just going to keep going down like that. Okay, so there's the fluff on the hat and I did the same technique for the fluff on the sleeve over here. And last but not least, I just have to do the little fluff ball on the end of the um, hat. And to do that, you just, um, same sort of thing, pounce your brush, make circular motions, and then uh, the Grinch's little ball ends in a, in a point, because he's kind of raggedy, like I said. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do are his eyes, and uh, the Grinch has yellow eyes, but I'm going to put white down first, because um, yellow tends to be really sheer, and I've used lots of different paint brands, and in every brand, it's sheer. So I'm going to put down white so it'll be a little bit brighter over the green. And it's important to remember that his face is not going to be centered on the forehead. It's kind of going to be off to the side um, because if you try to center it, then there won't be much room for his other eyeball. Go down at a slant like that. And then it's going to curve down and go back up, okay, like that. So I'm going to do a matching one right here. Just go up at a slant and go down 
and end in a point at the top. All right, so now I'm just going to fill that eye in with yellow, and you can see that um, it's still, even with the white, a little bit sheer, but um, it helps to make it brighter. Okay, so now I'm going to get started on the hand, and I have a half inch um, flat brush, and I have a green and dark green on, green on a split cake, and I just loaded my brush using the split cake. Okay, so first I'm going to do his wrist, and to do that, you just do really short because um, we need room for the ornament he's going to be holding too, and it's easy to make the hand too big. So you have to be careful with this to not make his hand too big. So there's his wrist. Now with the green, with the dark green up, we're going to start on the hand and just bend it down to about there. And then this is his finger, so you're going to bend it again and have the finger go in, twist your brush so that it gets a, a smaller or skinnier line and end like that because his fingers end like they're really hairy long fingers. And to do the other finger or his thumb curve it like that and then end a little bit shorter and then uh, I'll do the hand goes like that and fill it in and now I'm just going to um, shade it a little bit more. Okay, so that's the first part of his hand. Now for his fingers, um, they start about right here where the um, knuckle is. And I'm just going to do his pinky first. So that's obviously going to be the smallest one. And then his ring finger. All right, so there's his hand, and it'll make a little more sense when I outline it. Okay, now I'm going to do um, the ornament hanging from his hand. And it's going to have to be small, because like I said, it's easy to make the hand big and you run out of space. So I'm just going to put it right here. All right, so now for the fun part, I got some Diamond Effects Black on um, a number one royal or M. Grumbacher, and I'm going to um, outline. And as far as the white little fluff goes here, you're just going to use like really raggedy um, hair like marks because you know it's not perfect. Um, it's not perfect white. All right, so you got a raggedy outline there, and you're going to do the same sort of thing for the hat. Just a quick kind of scribbly and raggedy outline. And up here, I'm just going to do some quick little uh, hatch marks, and then maybe one right here, too. I'm going to do the same sort of thing over here, put a quick messy outline, little thingy right there, and the same sort of outline here. All right, I'm going to continue with that um, type of outlining for his hairy little hands. Make this a little little more hairy though than the rest. Poke the hair out at the knuckle. Then go down, poke the hair out again. And go down. And end in flicks like that. draw where 
his thumb goes. And, and, and here he flicks. All right, and that's the hand. Okay, we're almost done. I just have to do his face now, and this is the fun part. Um, so I'm gonna do his eyes first, and uh, just start by outlining the eyes. So hard to do this on myself. No idea. So there's that eye, and to do his eyebrow, it's really easy. All you do is kind of flick your brush up, okay? So go up his eye, flicking your brush for his evil eyebrows. Right, like that and then for his eyeball go kind of t more towards the center than the outside and you're gonna do a u-shape and end in a point and the bottom of the u is going to be the thickest part Now I'm going to give them some bags and make them look kind of mean. And I'm going to go to, from the bottom of the eye and kind of go under like this. And then up. Alright, it's so just little lines. And then from his brow with a thin line, I'm going to go up and then flick out. Okay, like that. Okay, I'm going to repeat everything I just did onto the side. Alright, so I got both eyes done and now all I have to do is his nose. And his nose is super duper easy. It's just a little circle about right here. Okay, so make sure it's in the center. Okay, just like that. And then just do like a little uh, little mark right in the center of it. Little black marks just like that. Now I'm just going to finish up with some highlights. I'm going to highlight the ball. Like that. And his clothes. Be a little bit on his hand. And you know what? I'm going to do a little, um, little shiny on the ball. his nose I'm just gonna do a little just a little one and I'm gonna do two dots one two and if you're in a hurry uh, this part can totally be skipped all right you guys so there you have it you got the Grinch with the Santa Claus hat and he's holding um, an ornament. So I thought this was a lot of fun. Um, I will put a picture in the beginning of a way to make this a lot quicker. Um, all you have to do is leave out the hand because the hand really is the lengthiest part. But I hope you guys liked this and it gives you some good options for boys coming up this Christmas season. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye.